so i'm uh, standing with my friend elsie um as we are busy putting on uh, dust to dust you're asking what and elsie where elsie works yeah mm-hmm. elsie who who's uh founder of the endometriosis association right foundation yeah and she is also the CEO for Heroes for Change. Yes. She's doing an amazing development. And I hope she can be here one day mm. to mm. share her development story. Mm. And she turns to me and she asks me, have you ever thought of running for office? I said, heck no. Me, <clears throat> I've always wanted to be a leader, you know, uh, not politics. And that story ends. Um, so, so um. A few minutes later, I just I just feel this anger in my stomach, you know, very angry. It's so hot, and I look around and I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired. These people, some of them, I've seen them poor. Their children are poor. Their grandchildren are poor. What is the problem? And I was like, it ends today. So I remember. I don't know if I told you at that at that minute. Mm. Um, but also, just in retrospect, and before we went uh, to say goodbye, there's a pastor friend of mine, um, Pastor Yvonne, uh, who had just seen me through that uh, the journey. And uh, she had told me, you know, you should run for office and do this exposed. I told her, me, I can't. No, I can't. Um, but I think that was, that, that, that was after, mm. after, after we say goodbye. Mm. Sorry, my things are all mixed up together. Mm because that it was a hard season. Mm. Anyway, so Elsie tells me, mm. I say no. Mm. A few minutes later, I make the resolution that this has to stop. Something is not working. Mm. <clears throat> and I don't know if I tell you then, but I remember mm. telling the MC of the event was mm. also Mr. Kibinda's friend mm. that I am going to vie for office. Mm. Because when dad was blessing me, giving me the blessing to, to run for office, he told me, yeah, mm. talk to Mr. So-and-so, mm. he will help you in the process. Mm. And so I think we went home and mm. I told you or in mm. the car and I told mm. you, you know what, I'm going to run for office. Mm. So my initial reaction was to do MCA mm. because it's here. Mm. It's 18,000 uh, 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 electorate, an electorate of 18,000. Mm. Is it to manage? Mm. I can visit them. I can do whatever we need to do. Mm. Change and we'll move on. Mm. So remember, I carried you mm. and uh, Steve along. Mm. Uh, Steve bookmark. Mm. Let's bookmark mm. that. Mm. So Steve Karedi has been our friend mm. for a very long time. Mm. Uh, so we ended up being in the same class mm. doing some development courses. Mm. Little did I know that she was also your best friend. So when mm. we begin dating, mm. you keep telling me about this. Steve, 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 Steve. I'm like, mm. dude. Mm. And so one day I come to visit you and you tell me, yeah, come, let's, and it was an, an evening. Mm. Um, and you tell me, come, let, let me go introduce you to Steve. And mm. you take me to Madare, because mm. that's where his office is. Mm. And you were surprised to see us. Eh, we know each other. <laughs> we, know, mm. we hugged like we had been long mm. lost friends. Like, no. <laughs> Woman, I cannot be introducing you to everyone. You know I know. I know. No, 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 no. Yeah. Mm. So he has been very instrumental in this journey. I'm grateful to him mm. and his wife, mm. Joyce. Mm. Uh, oh, shown up by Joyce. Mm. <laughs> mm. Doing amazing things in Madare. Mm. He has such a beautiful story mm. and mm. I'm sure you'll post some of these examples mm. of lives changed and transformed mm. because mm. Steve and his family mm. Mm. were present, yeah. were available yeah. and took up the call. True. Yeah, so we we decide, uh, let us go see the, the MC for the gig. Mm. We get to hear what this conversation looks like. Yeah. And we sit down what was to be a two-hour meeting ended up, I think, being five hours or six mm. hours of answer. yeah mm. of conversation. <clears throat> and he narrows down with all his statistics, statistics, all his facts. And he says, you know what? But as it stands, there's no person vying for woman rep mm. um, in Moranga. And I'm like, eh, eh. Mm. He said, it may be a bit intense, mm. but you can hack this. He's like, okay. Mm. So he jump-started me mm. in the journey. Mm. Of being uh, vying for women rep, mm. made an announcement mm. in various platforms that I was uh, offered, mm. and little did I know that after my announcement, other people started copying in, and mm. as as it stands, we are like four people mm. now mm. in the race, mm. all newbies. Mm. Um, the work mm. that the current women rep Sabina Chege has done mm. is good, mm. but I still believe there's room for for more. Mm. I believe this. 
the woman rep seat is a partnership seat. Mm. You can't sit and wait for government only. Right. You have to be friends with the MCA, mm. friends with the governor, friends with the senator. Mm. I, and also feel it's like a very, a very family setting mm. because yes, women mm. are your largest mm. uh, population of voters. Mm. Mm. Um, so if you influence that, then you definitely influence mm. the home. Mm. And we are back to my story about if family gets it right, mm. governance gets it right, mm. governments mm. will will get it right. Mm. And I'm very passionate about that. Mm. Um, so it's interesting, <laughs> again, putting my journeys of what I've learned, mm. community development mm. into this conversation. Mm. I've had life coaching, mm. transformation conversation with Mm. Uh, young people mm. Mm. there's been a lot of women empowerment mm. conversation mm. and one of the greatest deeds we did um was uh, when was it was it on the uh, some weekend which we'll put the date here mm. Mm. and we took 700 uh, seedlings and mm. planted in my 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 home area mm. and because it's a semi-arid uh, place mm -hmm. First, people are hungry, so they don't understand mm. why you're talking without mm. accompanying this conversation with a 50 bob. Yeah. Mm. But I'm glad they were receptive. Mm. Also, mm. because we have worked as a family mm. in the community, so mm. the Kibinda name is not strange. Mm. Mm. And now there's a person carrying that legacy forward. Continuing. Yeah. Mm. So, planted a giant bamboo. Mm. And in places where giant bamboo has been nurtured, mm. it has actually brought the water levels up, up you yeah. know? Mm. So I'm grateful that if we are patient for another five years or three years, mm. it will be an income generating mm. uh, a tree, mm. but also be able to raise the water tables. Right. Because my side of Moranga, mm. where I come from, mm. is very dry. Mm. Water is a, is a theory. It's a rumor. Which is interesting because not a lot of people would think that way about moranga when you hear moranga you do not associate you see the plush with, area yeah. the tea area exactly. maybe the green yeah, uh, the coffee green. area exactly. no no, yeah. no no there's a section that is semi-arid yeah. and it is ugly because it's so very rocky as well yeah looks like it has volcanic uh, rock yeah. which is i mean because of mount kenya and all it's exactly. explainable yeah. um yeah so, so you and i both come from moranga when, 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 and we visited both. Obviously, we've been to both sides. Both there is Donga mm. in 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 um, Kahumbu in, Ka, in Kahumbu, mm. uh, which is in the larger mm. Kigumo. Kigumo constituency, mm. and then there is which is where mm. which is your ancestral home, mm. and then there is uh, Idiru village in Kandara um, uh, Kandara constituency. Uh, very different you are the privileged guys it's probably not privilege because i think but the level the disparity Ex that's what i'm saying because the, the weather is good is amazing you get money from academia there is from academia, coffee there is coffee there is yeah. um, banana trees there is the the it's it's the the, the 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 voting block is not as large in Kandara, mm, mm. but that and we it's not our village is not a rich mm, village mm. in any way whatsoever. Mm. But and the reason I'm having this conversation and mm. we're having this conversation is because Donga, despite the name, rich, <laughs> rich <laughs> it is the ex extreme. extreme opposite opposite. Yeah. And uh, you probably want to talk mm. about an initiative you did on the 31st of December. Mm. Because the people who are there who probably hadn't seen, some of mm. our friends that we went with, who hadn't seen the extreme Dream. levels of poverty to the extent that Donga is actually, and the, the whole area mm. is marked as... A, Almost marked as a hardship area. As a hardship so area. So you know what that means? That's what that it's evil. Mm. that we could pride in calling it a hardship area because mm. you know what that means if a teacher is brought from kisumu eldoret and employed at donga in they had, they they had hardship, hardship almost hardship yeah. they have a hardship allowance so but how do we pride ourselves in that like how do you pride yourself as we are poor no, like when, how is that a good conversation when you're from the village it's not when yeah, you're it's from not. that when that's your home base that's definitely yeah not because that means even about. resources 
will be uh, slightly more yeah. but they'll still not get to to, the, to you to yeah. the person that yeah. needs it yeah. so that's something initiatives like what we had um, the Wedera Kibinda uh, greening moranga initiative yes we let's plant trees yeah right now it might not feed you yeah but give me three mm-hmm. years three five, five years, years you'll tell me a different story yeah. because now it the multiplies the, the trees will multiply yeah. there's market for it because yeah. you can like um it can be used to, at the, the the tea or coffee areas yeah. when you're burning exactly. your your berries or yeah. teas because yeah. it's fast it's not like the yeah. logs that yeah. we put yeah um it's a, a, a beautiful aesthetic and for was, hotels yeah. and uh, even for roofing and building especially if it's treated well and it was but, a good choice of the tree itself yes. that you planted was a good choice of tree because it wasn't the the the, the popular trees the, the most of the trees that you find in most of central kenya is yeah. the minyamai yeah. which is in, in english um, um <coughs> it could be a fir tree yeah um what else I'm forgetting they just, English name. The English the, the blue directly gum. translated is it drinks, drinks water. water. Blue gum. Is yeah, that, that's blue a blue gum. gum. Yeah. yeah the, so it will benefit mm-hmm. Kenya Power and Lightning. <laughs> Lol. Because it's true. Yeah. But by the time you cut down that tree, right. your, 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 your soil is loose. Yes. Your, yes. You know, yeah. uh, so it, there are many things. I mean, there's that example you always give for you want to eliminate mosquitoes. So mm-hmm. we introduced, so we introduced, mm-hmm. you know, Mm. but we have to get to the root mm. of the of the issue yeah. and the root of the issue is in the hearts of the people yeah mm. get to the heart of the people mm. get to the heart of that old aged woman mm. who is inflicted by bed bugs mm. by jiggers mm. depends on maybe one meal a day yeah. has no water so depends on someone to bring for her water mm. so you are you're affecting her health mm-hmm. her mental wealth mm. and her her well-being mm. and her children or her grandchildren probably visit her during school holidays mm. what kind of life is that how mm. do we pride mm. ourselves mm. and by the way i've also invested on it because we are growing old i think we make a joke in the house mm. <laughs> and we tell our children please mm. when we are mm. old mm. don't take us to an old people's home yeah just you know have us and uh, mm. take care of us so we've neglected mm. those people and like you're saying December 31st mm. we took quote unquote Christmas mm. thinking that we are just going to see 30 people hefty Christmas they can go as we uh, do a needs assessment of who is really in need that we can support and uh, we ended up impacting 120 Families. homes mm. Mimi, it was a case of uh, Jesus multiplying two fish mm. and five loaves. Because I cannot tell you mm. how that happened. Mm. That we are able to take food to 120 mm. uh, homes mm. th- where we could not, uh, where they could not come to where we were. Mm. We went, we visited, I think, mm. three, mm. three or four homes mm. that we took that mm. needed. Just even that mm. joy of seeing someone mm. uh, come. Mm. So I'm grateful for that opportunity. Mm.